Alright guys, so finally I got this figure, this uh, new SH Figure Arts Ultimate Gohan Superhero version. So I think this is one of the most uh, perfect Gohan figure out there with the new mode and um, yeah, so let's take a closer look for this one. Okay, so for this one, I really love the sculpt. Um, it really uh, represents like if you remember if for sure you watched the first like the 90s anime the way this um, figure was called it I think it was based more of on the um, old um, art style of the anime and it's it really differs from the other um, SH figures uh, release so, yeah, it has a sharp um, base detail. And what I notice is that um, usually the chest piece is like only in one piece, and then they just painted the skin tone um, part. But on this one, this is a separate um, plastic piece, which is great. And I think um, the body mechanics of this new release is perfect it doesn't have the floating piece or not the floating piece but it's like a separate sleeve piece from the other figure uh, figures so it is in oh sorry that was my cat wrecking havoc oh. okay so let's continue so if you can see it that this is not typical um, shoulder uh, sleeve or you know that we are used to okay I love as well this part thick neck I think he has that thickest neck out of the bunch like if you will compare it to Goku to Vegeta so it really is um, it really looks like the, the old style anime art okay. so for this certain figures it includes two extra face plates um, so of course it includes the the stern um, basic face we have two more extra which is one is like the shouting one the second is the angry face and what is lacking for this figure is that um, I want to see like a, a smiling one like a cheerful Gohan but yeah they didn't include it so some dynamic hands so three extra pairs of hands so one or yeah, just some dramatic pose and Kamehameha um, hands um, could be used so for the Masenko, Masenko uh, move and some martial arts um, hands so yeah that, that is the only um, uh, accessories that we have we don't have any blast key effects nothing nada so yep Okay, so for the articulation, um, so let's start with the head. You can look up, look down, it's so great. Look side to side. You can put the arms like this. You can move forward and we have a look on how to. It has like a butterfly um, joint. Can move as far as like that. Okay, move 360. Elbow bend. This. Um, for the abdominal crunch. backwards um, 
can do this. Then let's just see if ah oh, splits. Yep, splits. Move forward. Backward it cannot because of this butt. Uh, it restricts this butt flap. A stationary. It's not uh, like the previous um, the 2.0 body, the Goku. It doesn't have like the floating piece crotch that makes it weird. But this one looks good. It has like um, a cut joint here. This baggy pants. Yep. Good articulation. You know what I like with this uh, figure? What they did in the ankle joints, in which they didn't do with the Piccolo superhero, or you know, though there is a restriction on moving this down because this hinders the heel hinders it, but it has superb ankle rockers and of course there's a like the toe joint I like how they sculpt the the musculature the muscles it's re it really differs from the previous um, figures this, re this is really a new um, sculpting they didn't uh, recycle. Yep. All right. So let's just make some quick comparison with some of my figures that I have. Um, and actually, I just had a thought that I thought that um, I would not, or I wouldn't get the base form Goku superhero version but I think I will because when I put the this Gohan with the base form Goku that I have it really doesn't match the aesthetic if you can see some focus focus yeah if you can see the really the real difference is that um, it is somewhat plain. I don't know. Maybe it's it somewhat differs from the the face on how they put like the lines and such. It really it, it really differs actually. I don't know. I think just to match just to match the aesthetic. Of both the figures are gonna get the the superhero version I think so if you see how the sculpt differs the difference are night and day mm -hmm. how about with the the super saiyan I don't know this is much superior this Gohan version I like it um, let's compare with the previous Gohan this is the mystic Gohan that I got like way back 2015 or 16 2016 I think mm, difference night and day the old sculpt with the weird protrusion here mm. you also have the this Gohan mm -hmm. focus mm. of course it's one of my favorite as well this Gohan kid Gohan favorite and that's what his uncle Piccolo, the father he never had. He really looked good. Mm, the scaling, I think the scaling is good. You know what? What? Uh, mm, 
they should have implemented the changes to Piccolo as well because I hate this sleeve thing. I really hate it. They should have. Implemented that one as well. Ah, uh, one thing I noticed as well is the similarity of their box. This is random, but um, yeah, I just remember the similarity in their box, the color. Usually they have like a different coloring for each character, but um, for these two figures, they have the same like a brown theme on their box this really shows like the close uh, relationship between Piccolo and um, Gohan just a thought you know. yep. okay so I think for Dragon Ball collectors, this is a must-have um, figure. Um, in my opinion, this is one of the best uh, sculpt that they ever had. I hope they will continue to release such a um, uh, thing. And um, yeah, if, if you have, and this is, I think, one of the cheap um, releases as well. So better get it while it lasts. So um, yeah, this is a um, a good figure. Good, uh, have a good um, presence in your shop so especially if you're gonna put it beside uh, Piccolo so yeah buy this figure and if you like this uh, uh, review just uh, click uh, subscribe like and subscribe all right till the next uh, unboxing and review thank you